Hey guys, today we're going to do um, a video. I'm going to do Elisa's foundation. And this is all my products that I use. The products that I'm going to be using is Revlon Colorstay, SPF 12, which I really do like this, and it's to normal to dry skin in the color 400 Caramel. And I bought all these products with my own money, just to let you know. The next product is the NYC Bronzer. Um, and Sunny, which is so famous on YouTube, I had to get it. Um, I mine kind of looks messed up, so I'm just gonna give you this is what it looks like. Ooh, <gasps> yeah, it kind of cracked and stuff. <laughs> you can't really see the. It has like a little sign. And then I'm just gonna be using some brushes and some stuff. Everything I got, I purchased with my own money. I was not sent or anything. And this is the Revlon blush. It's a cream blush. And it's in very flirtatious. Number 18. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, first. Okay, first we're just gonna do primer. Um, I don't really have a real primer, but this is what I I use. And um it's kind of weird. <laughs> but whatever. It's the Monistat um chafing relief powder gel. Um I just got it, but I've heard so many people rave about it. Um, that they, you know, use it or whatever for a primer, face primer. So, that's what I'm about to do. So, it looks like this. I'm just going to open it up, get some, and put some, oh, wait, come on, Elise, and put some on her face. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was, okay, so you just, I'm just using my fingers, that's how I apply it. And then this makes your face very soft and ready. Okay, so I just apply that with, you know, just uh, my fingers because that's how I apply it. Now I'm going to just take and somebody's fun. I'm just going to take a sponge applicator. I like to apply um, foundation with this. I don't know. Oh wait. No, I'm not going to use this sponge. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to just open this up, you know, like you would. Ooh, it has a little bubble. And then get some. And then start applying it on her face. Okay, so right now, all she has is primer on. I'm going to start by applying this. Okay, so now I just do it how I do it myself. And I just start from her cheek area and then pull it down. Really, it's very um, important. <laughs> I'm going to put it in where and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, now you, I'll just take, I did half of her face. The, okay. You probably can't tell. We'll get more into the camera after I'm done with her full face. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to apply. You can move your face. <laughs> apply it on the rest of her face. On the side, too. This is what the finishing product looks like. Now, to matte it all out and to set it, I'm going to just use this Sunny Bronzer Powder. Since it, the powder is, like, almost the same color as my skin, I like to put it all over my face instead of just bronzing and contouring like most people doing do. Contour. Like most people do. So, this is what I'm. it looks like. Mine broke because I don't know. Um, so, now I'm just going to get this bl brush can't talk today brush and this is a Sony Castric um from Target it's just this brush flat very soft I love it so now I get this this is very very soft you only need to go like this like I go like this like pat it in and then I just kind of I need some more back I stipple it on to her face oh and then I brush it makes your face it just sets your makeup so good and it even covers a little bit, which I like. And it's a bronzer. It's not even supposed to do that. Now I'm going to do this over her whole face. I know you guys probably don't want to watch the whole thing. But I'm going to just do one half of her face. And this will just make your face look so, like, I don't know, like, give you just a nice glow. And it does not look powdery. It will even out, like, your skin tone. Cover up a little bit of imperfections with just a pad and just 
it just makes all those oily spots. It works really good as a, a blotting powder. And it would just make your face look super, super dead. And I just got it. And, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's really good. If you're darker, tint skin tone, excuse me, your hair. Um, it can work very good as an all-over powder. And even though this does, I guess, it does look really light, but it's not that light. It's really... And I just feel like it just, um, because Elise was saying earlier that it, her face looked a little shiny and oily looking. Um, when you add this, it just cancels out all that oiliness. Make sure you apply it. I don't have, personally, own any concealer, so that's why I'm not using any. This is a finished product. This is the finished foundation product. I just want you to get a really nice look. It looks very natural. It covered up a couple of her, you know. And it's, I don't know, I like it, honestly. It's good. Now I'm just going to apply some blush. The best way to apply this type of blush to me is it's a cream blush. Let's get a closer view. Um, I think this would look really good on any skin tone. I don't like using a brush for this. But, um, since I'm doing it on her face, not on my own face, I like to use my fingers, but I'm just going to use this Stila number 5 brush, because I'll have more control. I'm just going to get it, you know, go like that, and then just, please, and then smile, and then start where your apples are, the apples of your cheeks, and then pull outwards. And then you want to really just blend it. You don't want it to look too heavy, like... It's just supposed to be a natural blush of color. And I like to mix it with my fingers a little bit so it looks more natural. Sorry. Really, it's just, it's supposed to be just a wash of color. Some people, I see them and they have like so much, they have so much, like, so, sorry, I was looking at the time. So much blush on and just you can notice it and like it's just to be a good wash of color. And this is what this gets. Wait, let's see if it's even. I like to check if it's even not put a little bit more in there um this is what it looks like after I'm done see it's just a really nice wash of color and I don't know I just think it looks super good and it looks just nice with her skin tone I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation on the least video and these are all my products and everything and I really hope you enjoyed this I make another video tonight I don't know but make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!